the President of the United States. Believing this is the moment America is ready for change, President Joe Biden outlined an unprecedented plan to remake the country. We have to prove democracy still works, that our government still works, and we can deliver for our people. Using his slim, progressive majority in Congress, Biden wants to expand the role of government, calling for $6 trillion in new spending, paid for with tax hikes on the super-rich, proposing things rarely spoken of in the U.S., like universal pre-kindergarten, paid leave, and free tuition at community colleges. Trickle-down economics has never worked. And it's time to grow the economy from the bottom and the middle out. Republicans who supported big deficits during the Trump years are now clutching their wallets, claiming the proposals are too expensive or too alarming. At least one appeared to doze off during Biden's address. Joe is deliberately being boring, but the substance of what he's saying is radical. I think that uh, by being more mild-mannered uh, than his predecessor, it's not only what the American people want, but it also helps to lower uh, the volume on Capitol Hill and helps people to work together. Not that Biden needs to work with anyone. He seems to be daring his opponents to vote against the things he believes voters want. The president recently signed a $2 trillion COVID relief bill. Not a single Republican voted for it. Polls show two-thirds of Americans approve the bill. When they talk about unity, they're talking about delivering for the American people writ large. They're not talking necessarily about playing nicely with the Republicans in Congress if they can't get what they want. Biden's own approval rating sits at 57 percent, less popular than Obama at 100 days, far more popular than Trump ever was, but perhaps popular enough to make these once-in-a-generation changes. Thank you. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.